Hey, what's up guys? Camp and Rusher here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video today. Lots to talk about as there has been with most Season 6 videos so far. We got new locations coming up, new POIs for the rest of the season, new weapons, uh, a huge theory between our world crossing over with the Fortnite world and, and The Rock. All things competitive, new vehicles coming, new animals coming. Stick around for the whole video. I'm gonna have to talk quick because there's a lot to go through. Touch that like button for me. Boom. I show you something cute as a bribe and you hit the like button in return. If that doesn't get your heart beating, I don't know what will, man. I don't know what will. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support on the videos. Here is a list of all the crafting formulas in the game. Now, by now, you're probably getting used to it, how it all works, but there's some, uh, I don't know, some specific unique ones there. Mostly the bows, right? All, all the different bow combinations. And that first, that top row is unreleased. So they, they could be coming soon or they could be scrapped. Again, you know, chili pepper, some fish uh, combined with bow. A lot of bow combinations that I've still yet to try out. What's your favorite bow uh, so far? Let me know in the comment section and, uh, and we'll go from there. Now, we also have a list of all the damage stats of the different weapons that, uh, that exist right now. Uh, I'll link this down below so you can look further at it, but just, just note that the makeshift has seven pellets. You want to times that that damage number by seven, and the primal and mythic shotguns uh, only have five pellets, all right? And, and basically, if you hit all five pellets, let's say, on your shot, uh, th then, of course, you times that number by five you're seeing in front of you, that would be your damage, all right? That's only if you hit all five shots. That's just how the shotgun mechanics work in this game. So yeah, I don't know, what's your favorite shotgun so far? Another two questions right away, eh? right off the bat. Now, uh, you've probably seen this around the map, or these, and uh, there's these random eggs just sitting there, right? Ready to hatch. You, you know something's coming uh, when you see these, uh, and it's been leaked now that raptors, uh, dinosaurs uh, are going to be our, our next animal. Uh, they're gonna be tameable, they're gonna be hostile on sight, just like the boars, the wolves, and that's really all we know so far. A mechanic we talked about at the start of the season but hadn't really showed off yet is you can now pay NPCs gold to transform into different props. For example, this guy turned into a bush. Bush mode engaged, he said. And with that, here is the cost of some of the new abilities. The disguise we just talked about, 75 gold. Future storm circle information. 170 gold and then a rift to go 245 and I think that's fair. I mean rift to go is such an overpowered and great item uh, Especially competitive if you can save 245 up in a match uh, Enjoy it man, and, you know reap the benefits So uh, I think that's a good way to do it, especially if they do put it in competitive We'll talk about that the preseason in just a second uh, and what they've announced so far some lore stuff though, we now know the number of jumps that Jones has, uh, has taken. And we know that because of the, uh, the battle pass, the different edit styles for Agent Jones. Each, uh, each outfit represents a different jump and it says what jump it was, right? So you got 15, uh, 23, uh, the Terminator was 31, and Street Fighter, uh, or Street Fighter was 31, 42 for, for Alien. So there's been more jumps than we thought. And there has been more jumps that happen in between the re reality logs that we've, we've heard, right, throughout last season. So I thought it was worth pointing out. He's been jumping a lot. Where else has he jumped? Who knows? Maybe we'll find out later. But uh, yeah, just to add a little bit to the lore. More lore stuff. This has been mentioned, but I, I'm just going to bring it up now. And it's uh, it, during the battle pass or cinematic trailer, sorry. There was this crossover scene, right? I think Maybe it was the battle pass. Either way, y you had this look at the zero point. And then it switched over quickly to an in real life location where the zero point was, was also active. And we've seen this before, right? I believe, was it season six last time in chapter one? Around that time, there was the IRL stuff going on, right? There were so many IRL teasers happening. Like Fortnite is very much, or Epic's very much interested in making Earth a part of the, the the multiverse that Fortnite is in. And I think it's a cool thing. It blows my mind. I don't really, they're so creative over there. And this kind of crosses over to the the rock uh, foundation theory we're gonna talk about a little bit later in the video. But worth pointing out, and some other parallel shots. This wasn't from a trailer. This was from Dusky on, on Reddit, but I thought it was cool. Just some parallel shots of the different seasons showing some of the similarities. 
how you know how some things stay very similar and then other things you can you can barely recognize and it's the, the shots are taken from the same same point in the map so I don't know. I thought that was, that was a cool one. That was an interesting one. Apparently, the hoverboards are likely to return later this season, coming from Mango. I hope this is true, and I hope they also bring the Ballers, and I hope they also bring uh, the Quad Crashers. All right, Ballers are my number one. I want them back. I do. Let, them, let, let us have them for a season, man. I want to feel like Spider-Man again. That was just a blast of a vehicle. But the hoverboards were awesome too. A new uh, a new weapon, upcoming recycler weapon. It will suck in, recycle some type of ammo, mats, and shoot a junk bomb. Here's some text related to it. Player scrap themselves, player scrap player two with a recycler, and, and harvest ammo. So you, yeah, you get a harvest to shoot this thing. Uh, harvest mats, and uh, yeah, I showed you a picture, and then there, it was also in the Battle Pass trailer at 44 seconds. So yeah, expect that to be our uh, our next item or one of the next items, maybe 16.1 in a couple weeks, assuming they're doing the every two weeks update schedule. Some more upcoming weapons from Hypex. Marksman 6 Shooter will be sold by Deadfire. Grappler Bow, Lara Croft, and Unstable Bow, Bow will be sold by Rebirth Raven. All right, so that's some of our, our new items, new weapons you could expect over the coming weeks. Now, before we go any further, just a quick reminder to subscribe to the channel. Turn those noties on, get here early, and stick around for the whole video. Hopefully it's entertaining enough for you to stick around. That's always what I try and do. But, uh, yeah, it helps more than you know. That's that's the biggest uh, helpful thing on YouTube. So thanks for, for all the support. I appreciate it. Uh, so now they did a massive competitive FNCS uh, announcement, tournament announcement for, for all skill levels. This is worth listening to for everybody. Uh, so first, Chapter 6 FNCS, here's the format. Trios, cross-platform play, 3 million prize pool, and it starts April 22nd. Now, remember, Season 6, we are currently in preseason, all right? Preseason lasts from now uh, until March 23rd, and then that's when the arena hype resets. The new season, or the new competitive season starts, you start grinding arena out. Uh, we start getting weekly tournaments, things like that. Uh, but for now, for this week, they're just trying to feel it out, right? What's OP, what shouldn't be in competitive, what should be. Uh, and, and something the, the things they've noted so far, the Shockwave bow has been removed from, from competitive playlists altogether, and the Explosive bow cannot be directly crafted in comp, but it can still be found in the world, all right? They're going to be doing weekly tournaments, like I said. We'll talk about those in a second. They're also doing a mid-season or mid-year invitational FNCS All-Star Showdown, all right? 23rd to the 26th, another 3 million prize pool, and they're, they'll, they'll be hand-picked the best players uh, based on the previous FNCS competitions. And there will be skill challenges, non-battle royale, team-based comp, and a solo tournament. So some of the new tournaments, quickly. Mobile Monday, solo, March 22nd and March 29th, mobile players only. You got some cash on the line. There's a Polga Cup duos, and uh, this is March 29th to 31st. You got some cash. Uh, I believe it's for all regions and it is uh, top 500 duos move on to round two and then top 50 for round three. All right, next up, Hype Cup Trios. This will run every Monday. That's how you can make the arena grind a little easier on yourself. Fortnite Performance Evaluation Tournament. This is a new one, Trios. Uh, it's to test their new tournament system and game performance at the highest level of comp uh, for the latest update. Only those at the highest arena ranks will be able to participate. V-Bucks will be awarded to top people. All right, so I don't know if this is going to be like you got to be champion or you got to be like the highest div of champion, but you're fighting for free V bucks, which is cool, and it's just a test uh, if end games can handle, you know, can, can the servers handle end game with all the new stuff that was brought with the the update. And there's no date listed for this one. I'm assuming it is soon though, because th this is to, to to test before all the other stuff goes down, right? So uh, I'm assuming I, I'll let you know once we get a date. Friday night bragging rights trios every Friday. And then finally, Solo Cash Cups will be every Sunday. Let's talk about The Rock. So there's this theory going around that The Rock is the foundation, the leader of the seven. And this theory is starting to make sense. First, uh, Hypex, the foundation's voice lines folder is called DJ, and The Rock is referred to as DJ sometimes, Dwayne Johnson, of course. Next. I made a video about this four months ago and titled it The Rock Skin because of this conver conversation. Why does The Rock float look like a Fortnite skin of The Rock? Josh says, don't give them ideas. The Rock says, way ahead of you, BD. Great minds. Cheers. 
All right, so there's that. So he's obviously confirming he, he was working with Epic at the time. Epic won't share who voiced the foundation with me from Ben Walker, and that's really interesting because they have never hesitated to share voice talent before, not once. Clearly, the foundation's voice actor is important to the lore. All right, there's that. And then there's this image uh, right below it. Sorry, a bit low quality, but it, it paints the picture. You've got such a similarity between The Rock's tattoo, Dwayne's tattoo in real life, and the foundation's uh, style of armor, right? They, they, they mimic each other. Finally, The Rock made a video on Instagram. I'm not gonna play it for you here, but he basically was talking about like the merging of cultures, making this big speech, talking about March 16th, the first day of the Fortnite season being a, a big day. And they ended it with like a, this, this, I don't know, this quick minute talk with, with, with the foundation. And then he raised his, his eyebrow like he does, right? The signature eyebrow. So, I mean, like, come on. This is, there has to be something going on here. There has to, there's too much evidence. Two final things. First, to look at the small bat cave that will probably be coming to the island during season six. This is a, a couple pictures taken from the Batman Times Fortnite comic that'll be releasing, helping tell the storyline this season. And then finally, the Croft Manor from Tomb Raider will come to create a very soon and you can see it there that's all i got thanks for watching there is a lot today i hope you enjoyed touch that like button for me if you made it this far uh you guys are the big supporters man you help more than you know uh cold the camp in russia is never a bad idea either take care talk soon goodbye